Hello gamers! It is me, your planting mommy. Today we are doing a big box store video. Today we are at Lowe's and then we're gonna go to Home Depot. I took you to the nicest Lowe's in my area, like the place that always has the good plants. And then after this I'm gonna take you to the nicest Home Depot in my area as well. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Also check out my YouTube channel memberships and also my link tree has a bunch of fun stuff including discount codes and like whatever. Let's go in to the Lowe's. It's Friday which means that their delivery day was yesterday for both Home Depot and Lowe's. We can hope and pray that there's something fun, but I cannot buy anything. I say this every time and then I never stick to it, but today we cannot buy anything. I mean it. It is ridiculously busy today, so hopefully I don't attract too much attention with the camera. It's spring! Today is March 31st. Garden Center is definitely coming back alive. Last time I was here, they had literally nothing out here at all, but they don't have any succulents outside yet, so it's definitely still too cold. So let's go inside. Okay, right off the bat, it, you know, it doesn't look too exciting. Normally this place is pretty set. So let's take a look. We have azaleas, that's kind of cool. We do have our urban tropicals, urban jungle stuff. I love these plants. They're like the same price as every other plant here, except they come in pots, which is really cute. We have some ferns, some dracaena and croton. Down low, we have a different brand, which is peace lilies. Ooh, hoya curtisiae. And some fetonia, I think. I can never tell the difference between like polka dot plants and fetonias. Oh, we have ficus punula. That's cool, that's pretty. Dude is $14.98. Got some syngonium as well. Also $14.98. Sold by Plant Smart. Oh, we have one of my favorite begonias here. I used to know the name for this begonia, but I do not at the moment. I just love it. it looks kind of like a begonia gelau. Tons more crotons. I'm almost positive this is Fetonia. Ton of orchids. These orchids are $20. Wow. We got some huge ZZ plants down here. These are $17. I like that they have the whole name. Zamia Culcus Zamifolia. And look at how big these root nubs are in there. Those are big old potatoes. Also have some Rifidophora here. It just has assorted, but I'm almost positive this one is the Heii. Oh, it's growing. Okay, down here we have a ton more of these, like, four inches. These are, like, $10 now. These used to be five bucks. It's really depressing. Plants. Crotons. Oh, hey, look at this. We got Sabu Blue. These are $25. These are really, really nice. The big box store Sabu Blues are always way nicer than the locally owned plant shop ones. I wonder if it's just because they come in a bigger size. I would 100% buy this today because this is one I've been looking for um, at a big box store because locally owned you get like teeny tiny ones for like $30 instead of a whole basket for $25. There's another one back here. Oh, this one's really nice. You know, way back in the day, when they very first got Cebu Blue here in town, it was like two years ago, I literally like, I think I left in the middle of a college class to go pick one up at a Lowe's. And it was like one of my very first plant videos I ever did. Huge. I love the color and sheen on Cebu Blue. And I'm calling them Cebu Blue Plothos, but these are actually Epipremnum Panatums. They are not Pothos. They're so nice. Oh, I'm so depressed. It's all right, we can admire them from afar. Oh, I love Cebu! <sighs> all right, what do we have on this side? I saw Hoya Curtisii. They like tucked it all the way back here so that no one will ever see it. You could probably get this one for a discount. Kind of looks like it was dropped. This is a Hoya Curtisii. Hoyas are non-toxic, by the way. $24.95, but you could definitely get this for like a 50% discount. Like, it looks like someone just took a bunch of the plant out. That's super cute. That's somewhere where people can see it. And I love 
strawberry begonia vine. The cool thing about this plant is that it's actually not a begonia at all in any capacity, and it's not a strawberry plant. This is called Saxifraga stonolifolia, stonolifera, and it's so beautiful. The undersides of its leaves are bright pink, and it's covered in these cute little hairs that are really soft. This thing grows so fast and it gives you a ton of plant babies. If you like spider plants because they can give you babies, then you will love the saxifraga. Here we have a peperomia, which are also non-toxic for pets. This is peperomia serpens. Very beautiful. This one is $24.98 as well. Then over here we have some monstera. I'm kind of waiting for them to get in their big monstera again because it's been a minute. And this store location always has like the biggest monstera. We're not gonna look for sports today because even if I found one, I wouldn't be able to buy it. So I don't wanna make myself depressed in case we find one. This Diffenbachia is beautiful. Do you have a name, friend? Just Diffenbachia. Yep, it doesn't have a name. If you guys know what Diffenbachia this is, I'd love to know. Because that is so beautiful. Diffenbachia, by the way, are super toxic. So you want to make sure that if you have a baby that will eat your plants or pets that will eat your plants, you do not want to own this one for sure. Look at these Bird of Paradise. So Bird of Paradise right now at Lowe's are going for $34, which is $70 cheaper than our local nursery. Though I do recommend you buy local. $30 Bird of Paradise is, you know, kind of hard to pass up. <laughs> and we have these massive peace lilies and I'm proud to tell you guys that I do actually still have my massive peace lilies. And I'm gonna be filming a uh, plant collection tour soon anyways. Here's the money trees. These are the ones I always check for Chris. They're so pretty. I wish we could find a fucking variegated one though. Like three of you found one last week and every time you guys find one, you always show me, which makes me really happy because I like to see them. But also, I don't know how y'all are finding so many stupid freaking variegated money trees. And I can't even find one. Well, I found like one once, but you know. Some Raven ZZs here. These are huge. Oh, look at these seed packet. That's just really beautiful packaging. Okay, I wanna get to these plants, but there's a girl right there. So we might have to wait, cause I don't wanna bother her. Okie okay, dokie, here's a much prettier Hoya Curtisii. This one is actually way nicer. This is about how big mine was when I bought it. I love the leaves on this plant. They're very tiny and delicate and I love the speckles. This one is $24.98 as well. And we have a ton of hanging basket plants over here. Have lots of ferns and then Boya Lacunosa. We have the teardrop peperomia that's variegated. This is peperomia jenny, but I have never seen, I think, such a white bunch of them like these are super 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 white 5.98 see these oranges are literally half the price of those ones over there so i don't i don't know where the hell that company gets off but i don't like it here is another oh it's a lipstick plant it's not even a lacunosa so that one earlier that i said was lap lacunosa is not this one is really cool though i've never seen this before this is called Formosan creeping fig ficus sinioides. Hey y'all, this thing got that COVID on them, dude. The leaves are like uh, textured. They have like a kind of like a spiky texture on them. I don't know. Do you guys like this? Have you seen this one before? Let me know if you like it. Okay, the coolest thing I saw were definitely these Cebu Blue. This is the one that I would have got if I were to get one. And then if I didn't already have a Hoya Curtisi, I would have also got that. Okie dokie. So now we're gonna go head to the Home Depot. The one that we're going to is on Milwaukee and the Lowe's that we're at right now is on Eagle. I know that these clips are literally for orchids, but sometimes I'm like, I kind of want them for my hair. <laughs> also, I totally walked right past this Philodendron Heteracium. It's huge. This one is very, very nice. This one is $24.98 as well. But look at that leaf size. Those are huge. I have small hands, but like these are quite big. Cute. 
And here is the whole section. Sorry, I didn't bring my wide angle lens with me. But yep, yeah, that's everything. Cute. Okay, next location. Okay, gamers, we are at Home Depot. Let's go take a look. Parked behind the cage. Free us. Let us go see our plant brethren. It's plant time. It looks like they have a ton of stuff. <gasps> Ooh, they have a ton of like potted plants. I haven't seen that at Home Depot before. There's so much here. Holy cow. Okay, well they definitely did just get a shipment. Look, there's a bunch more right here. Oh, they have proven winners. This is that brand that's like a, this is an outdoor brand but they've been doing house plants lately. Look at these little bowls. What the fuck? That's so cute. That's actually the best thing in the world. Look, they have little anthurium. <laughs> Look, they even misnamed them. So Home Depot went over and like changed the tag. Look at this. Nah. Look at these freaking Calathea, dude. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, and they're even giving the names. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna nut, bro. Look at this fern. Look at this. It comes in a freaking pot of freaking cloth. This is like the most beautiful fern I've ever seen in my life, dude. It's like blue and shit. Oh my god. Then this hello. Okay, these are expensive. Bargain should not be this expensive anymore, but that's just my opinion. Don't need to take it as fact. Holy cow. The only time I've seen proven winners before today was at Franz Wit, and everything was like uh, cold damaged. These are beautiful. Wow, and look at these ficus rubies. This is like the best thing to happen to Plants, honestly, like these are great. Just put everything back and be very careful. These are so beautiful. Wow, look at that leaf. I just love these like cloth pots. So great. But I'm obsessed with these plants and bottles. How much are they? Hmm. H2, okay, the bowls are $20. It's a little expensive, but. You know, no one else is doing it, so I guess set your own margin. This is a really beautiful Syngonium. I like the Santherium hybrid too. It almost looks like a Faustina, except it's like not. This one has pink veins. That's super cool. And then up here, there's Alocasia Poly and ZZs, and they're in like these like tall ceramic pots. I'm really glad that Urban Jungle started doing the whole thing of like selling plants in pots because it's kind of pushing other companies to do the same thing. And honestly, it's just like way higher quality for what we were paying before. Same price, but way better quality. Let's go take a look at the plants in here first, and then we'll come back, take a look at the other stuff. Ton of peace lilies and bird of paradise. Wow, this Home Depot has always been nice, but it's like really stepped up its game. I'm not gonna lie. Paradise, this thing is $69, nice, huge. We got a ton of four inches. They have begonia fedora. That is one of my favorite begonias. Kinda, you know, fedorable, if you know what I mean. These are cheap as fuck. See, these four inches here at Home Depot are literally six dollars. This is the same brand. They are six dollars cheaper here at Home Depot than Lowe's, and I don't know why. Exactly the same brand. They are the same size, the same like amount of plant, but they're four dollars here instead of ten dollars at Lowe's. Here we have some Raven ZZs, Griffith of Four, Tetrasperma, all of these are $20. And some uh, Monstera and Sonia, these are huge. These might actually be Leonatas, but I'm not a fucking Adansonia expert, so. I love what Raven ZZs look like when they're turding. They're all like mottled. Then we have a bunch of Epipremnum Amplissimum. This is cool. These are actually really beautiful. I haven't seen them sell this yet. Cute. 
Okie dokie gamers, let's take a look. So we have a ton of Epipremnum Penatum Orium, which you would know as a golden pothos, but they're actually not pothos at all. Pothos, this is an entirely different genus. And anything you see called a pothos is actually an Epipremnum. Crazy how that works. Then we have a ton of Aglionema, and these are like, these are Viagra brand. So again, better pots, plants that are like potted and stuff. These are actually cheaper too than the Costa Farms and Plant Smart brands. So it's good to see some competition. Making things cheaper. We love that. Affordable house plants. There's also some Dracaena and some Alocasia poly. Over here we got all our succulents. We got some Lithops. These are super cute. I think it's so funny that they put these fake flowers on top of these cactus. I have no idea why they do it. Up here we have a ton of jade. This is also called elephant bush, but it is Portularcaria africa afra variegata. Over here we have yucca. I freaking love yucca. I like to grab yucca. Like, I don't know why. It just feels good to grab. Over here we have a ton of little money trees. You know what we do? We check them to see if they're variegated. None of these ones are, sad. These ones are $16. Is this also Viagra? I don't know what the, oh no, this is Costa. <gasps> Wait. OMG. Hold. You guys. <gasps> oh my God. You guys, we did it. Oh my God. Holy cow. We freaking did it, y'all. Every single stem coming off this one is variegated. We have to get it. We have to. Oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, y'all. So I called my mom because I literally cannot afford to spend any money right now at all. And I'm waiting for the go ahead because she said to just buy it, which usually means that she's gonna grab it for me. But I, I have to wait for the confirmation, but we literally did it. That's so funny. I was just talking about this earlier in the video. I was like, ah, oh, we always took the money trees. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe it. If, if she decides not to buy it, then like, I'll just leave it here and I'll like post about it in a Facebook group, but. I love too that it is Aurea. So this like green yellow variegation is what you'd refer to as Aurea. And this is the newest leaf. Oh, the whole stem is variegated too. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's the one Chris and I have been looking for for over two years. Yeah, cause it's at a freaking Home Depot. It's just a random sport. I know. It gets bigger, like I could grow it in more and then I could notch it and see if I could get it to make more of itself. Okay, so I'll include a little bit of that phone call with my mom, but she basically was like, I love you. I'm so proud of you for working again. And she Venmoed me actually $30. So she Venmoed me uh, double the price of the plan, which was super fucking nice. So I'm gonna grab this, but for now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it, you know, tucked, tucked right over here. I'm gonna show you guys the rest of this mega plant section. There are so many plants. Let's start with these ones. These are actually Costa Farms. These are $20 and they are definitely going the route that urban jungle is. The potted ceramic pots. And I actually can't get these down because I don't think I could actually get them back up. But I can do my best. Pots are definitely a good idea, and I'm glad that all the other companies are feeling this pressure uh, to do pots, but no pots have been cuter than Urban Jungle yet, so. This one, oh my god, I'm gonna vomit. So now we have all these plants over here. We've got a bunch of bonsais and ponytail palms, some Sansevieria and Diffenbachia aglionema. These are all $14. The Viagra plants are way cheaper in comparison. And then over here, we have all the other Costa Farms plants. So we have Syndapsis trubii moonlight and Orphidophora tetrasperma, or people call it Monstera Ginny or small Monstera, but it is not a Monstera, it is Orphidophora. Then we have Calathea musaica. And I remember the first time this hit, Boise, everyone was losing their minds. And similar to when the trubii hit, it was such a fad. It was cool for like a week and then everyone had one and then everyone's plants started dying, so. But Calathea musaica has a really nice pattern. Then we also have the Epipremnum Panatum, the normal variety. We have Chameleon ZZ back here, which are really nice. I love how minty they are. And more Rifidophora Tetrasperma. We have some Begonia Maculata Whiteyei, and then these beautiful variegated Pisilis. These are Spathophyllum Domino, but the jeans on these are like phenomenal. And they come in a little risen pot, which is super cute. 
But yeah, all of the plants are uh, are really, really, really nice. All right, it's time to take our thumbnail photo, and I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna try our darndest. Here is the whole view of the Home Depot. I am so glad I came to this one today. Super beautiful, and I love that it's in an actual greenhouse. None of the other Home Depots in my area are like this, so it is really nice. And there's a whole a lot of green.